Hello, in this video, I want to show you how to use Binance, uh, the basic functions of Binance, because it can be very uh, complicated as well, but to buy some uh, Bitcoin and to send and all this, uh, this stuff, I can easily show you. First, you have to register an account with Binance and um, I have done that, it's uh, very easy. And uh, when you have uh, on this page, then you can log in. And here you can log in with your email or mobile. That's up to you. And please check that you're logging, logging in, with, uh, visiting the, the correct address for security reasons. And here you just push login. And on this page, you slide these together. Another security step. And here you need the, uh, the latest verification code from uh, Binance, the, the authenticator app from Google. And if that is okay, then they let you in. First of all, uh, when you start to use Binance, you need to um, go to identification and you need to do the verification of your account you cannot buy send or do anything except when you haven't done that so location you can see that i have verified my account it is i cannot show you that here uh, it's all about that you have to upload a picture of your passport identity card and uh, picture your face uh, with your camera or with your laptop camera or and do the process and then it will take one hour two hours three hours until you get verified you see here advanced verification i haven't done that i only did this one and that's enough for me so when that is okay you can go to your wallet here this is the the wallet And inside here, you, you will find your balance. And here, inside here now, you see I have some Tron and some Ether. And I can hide small balances if you want to sort it, then it's only Tron showing up, but I also have some very small amount of Ether. The latest transactions you can see down here, transaction history. And Behind each of these, you see buy, deposit, withdraw, trade, convert. So if I want to convert Tron to Bitcoin, I can click on this and I can do it. From TRX to Ether. That's very easy. You can just play with that as you like back to here if you want to send bitcoin ether to someone you you, you click withdraw and then you choose what you want to send and here you have to put the recipients address tron address not bitcoin address because you're sending tron and you put the amount here and you click it's very easy actually to do to do all this make sure that you are on crypto of course here back to the e-wallet you see here fiat spot you can click here or where you like to click now I can show you how to buy how to buy crypto. You see here, pay with the bank deposit, credit card, cash balance, third party payments. I use my credit card. And you can see that I have I have used it before because my card is already here. And now I want to buy, let's say I want to buy um Uh, 
uh, Ethereum, I can choose Bitcoin or I can choose Ether. I want to buy Ethereum for 100 euro. <clears throat> Here you can change also this, and that's okay. Pay with this card. If it's the first time, you just you just do like this and you put in your card. And this is, I've done it before, so it shows here. I can add another card. I can have different cards here. I just click here. And uh, you see this. Make sure you have enabled international transaction on your Visa card. So this, you must call your bank and, and check. Click here and confirm within uh, the countdown is done. And it was about to go to take me to the bank ID security system. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. No problem. If you have to do that, you just put in your details and you will get a confirmation. But now this purchase is done. Check your balance, go to wallet. You can go to wallet to click here. And I have it here. Some more Ethereum now. I can see in transaction history. For the cash. Here. I bought for 100 euro, but the, the fee and the cost of it gave me 98.10. That's how it is. So again, it's the same. It's very easy. If you're going to pay something, transfer these funds. I can also go. You click withdraw. I can also buy some Bitcoin just to show you 100 euro bit 100 euro I buy Bitcoin for 100 euro then I will get 0 0.002606 Bitcoin I click buy And this is okay, I confirm. The bank ID verification, no, it didn't show up this time either. That's okay, processing. And if you have any problem here, you must uh, call your bank and uh, ask if you have any limits on your Visa or MasterCard or what, what's wrong. So now I can see also that I have Bitcoin here. And if I want to transfer these Bitcoins to somewhere, I click withdraw. Make sure that it's Bitcoin here. It will automatically be there, be that. Put in the address you're sending your Bitcoin to. Copy and paste. And you choose Bitcoin. Max or the amount you can choose max. And you click submit. Now I only need the address. So that you will get from somewhere. Either it's a friend or it's a company or wherever you're going to send them. You click submit then and you click one time and it's they are sent. So that's how you do it. And if you're going to receive. Receive. 
receive from someone, then you click deposit. If you're going to receive some some Bitcoin from someone, you click deposit and you give them this address. This is your receiving address. So you just copy this address and give to the company, put it in ad wallet in that company you're trading with, or you give it to your friend that is going to send you, then he send you on to this address and you will receive your Bitcoin inside here. And all this can be done in um, when you have done the identification of your account here. So you can see VIP zero. No, I don't have to be VIP. That's for big clients. But I'm verified. You can see it says here verified. So that's how you use um, the basic functions in um, in Binance. Coinbase, it's actually the same. You have to do the very, you have to register the account. You have to do the verification, ID document stuff, put in your passport, upload and get it verified. So that Coinbase know that you are a real person and you can use this account. And then you click your portfolio or wherever you like, you can see your assets here, Bitcoin 541, some other stuff. This is your, this is my assets inside here now. Total value thousand dollars. And here I can buy more. My card is already put it in here. So you add your card under settings here, payment methods. You add your card and you put in for withdrawal, you put in here and you can play around so if you want to buy you just put in that you buy for 100 euro bitcoin pay with your credit card inside here and you just buy now and if you want to send if you want to send bitcoin make sure you have a have some bitcoins in your bitcoin wallet here You send, and you choose to send in dollars or you switch over to Bitcoin. Zero point zero. You put in the amount or you paste it in. And here you put the address. Put the address to whom you're gonna send it. To the company to a friend here you can write for your records and you click continue it's very easy and if you want to receive money to your coinbase account it's the same as binance you click you choose your btc wallet and you copy this address that is the BT bitcoin address if you want to receive ethereum or dash this is your dash address. So make sure that you choose the right address. So that's how you do it. So um, I'm happy using Coinbase and Binance. And I also have another one. And I also have a offline wallet where I store my crypto because I don't store, I don't have too much inside here at the time. That's just how I do it. I transfer them to a hard wallet, as we call it, offline e-wallet. It's a physical thing that I have in my uh, safe. <laughs> so you can choose what you like to do about that. So good luck and uh, with your crypto buyings. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Bye.